Just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now it's time for the coin talk, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. He kicks it off and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Gives it left side. He's to the 40. Tackle around the 47-yard line. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. First and 10. Ball on the 47. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. Ball start, offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out Still there, it's bound down. to happen occasionally. Quick throw to the tight end. And he shoved out of bounds around the 49-yard line. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackled. It's the 41. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. Is caught the defense lays him out. That's good for three yards. That makes it second and six. From the 37 yard line, second down. Fires out to his wideout, and he's tackled at the 32 yard line. They get five yards on the play. The play action throws the defense just long enough for the quarterback to get the ball to the receiver. Nice play. Third down, one yard to go. Ball on the 32 yard line. made at the 23 yard line. It's a good job of converting on third down with the running game. Hands it to the back. Tackle after a decent pickup. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. The 10, the 5, touchdown, Old Miss! Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. converts the extra point. So that's an eight-play, 82-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 29. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Oh. 
Slings it out and it gets tipped. It's an intelligent play by the defenders. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. Makes it second and ten. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Right down, right around the 40. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got in the ball and he was able to make something big happen. Six-yard line. Believe it touches you. Offense. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they can just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. The penalty makes it second and 15. throw out to the receiver incomplete Brad I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions and especially when the defense starts to get pressure you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it he wants it all going long oh boy almost intercepted so that'll make it fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He's to the 40. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. Holding the CVT. Not a bad return. Decline. Return for a gain of 13 yards. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 43. Ole Miss up seven points. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start. Offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still first down. Taken down around the 43 yard line. They gained five yards there. Not a bad play. They gained five yards out of it and they keep moving the defense back. From their own 43 yard line, it's second down. Now he's flushed and they got it. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out in practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. There's a strike complete. He's taken down around the 38-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 38. run up the middle. That's good for a game of five yards. That makes it second and six. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Ole Miss is up a score. And he's immediately tackled.
He's going right. He came down with it. Touchdown. Well, we get a new quarterback in there. You have to wonder not only how will he do, but what does this do to the starter's psyche? He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. run up the middle. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. the stop right around the 22-yard line. And a quick throw. Now bring him down at about the five-yard line. out there. I understand you're down a couple scores and you're trying to get back into the game, but you can't get it all back at once. You've got to be patient, take your time, and methodically work yourselves back as a team back into this game. From their own 20-yard line, it's first down. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. From their own 23-yard line. Third down. And he's hit immediately. Well, 
We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Tackle around the 39-yard line. That's good for the 12 yards. That makes it first and ten. He's under pressure. Zips it to the back. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. Coming on the tackle at the 33-yard line. That brings him second and five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 33-yard line. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They hand it off. Makes it out to about the 10. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He makes it out to maybe the seven-yard line. And this is the tenth play of the drive. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. That brings him second and goal. They're at the eight. Second down. There are three quarters remaining. The Rebels lead it by two touchdowns. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. And he's tackled after positive yardage. The defense backed up into their own end zone. It's third and goal from the one. And he hits him hard at the one. There was some movement on the line. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. This should be an easy field goal. The kick is up, and it's good. Ole Miss ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think I can count on one hand the last time I saw this good defensive performance where you had a chance for a shutout. Are you kidding me in college football today? With the spread and the running quarterbacks and all the speed and space, these guys got a chance to put up a shutout. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Throws. Throws incomplete. Awesome. Was the intended target on the play. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Banks, the return man. Six. 
Banks fields it at the 38. He's taken down at the 38-yard line. Yeah, nothing too impressive on that return. I'm curious to see if this offense can move the ball. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. From their own 36-yard line, second down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Got it on the quick throw. They'll knock him down for a loss. Still with the tackle at the 42 yard line. That'll make it fourth and six. Stewart is the deep man awaiting the return. Looking for the corner. Stewart fields it at the 24. And they push him out at the 32-yard line. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. He makes his way to about the 48. Very well-designed play that time to give him a first down. Linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. Catches it, and that's all. Passes it. It's almost picked off. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Rebels looked almost unstoppable in that first quarter. And Herbie, since then, it's not so much that way. Yeah, they've been sluggish here in recent uh, series. But I think it's important. They still have the lead. This is where some leadership needs to assert itself. And somebody needs to make a play to flip that switch to get this offense going again. On the ground with the tailback. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 19. They work the right side, and there is nothing going there. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. He chucks it downfield. Incomplete. The ball just sailed on him, and he knows it. He'll get it next time. Stewart, back to return it. Stewart fields it at the 41. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And they hit him in the back. 
field. Loss of four. That makes it second and 14. Second down and 14. Ball on the 47. He lets it go. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. And that'll bring up a punting situation. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. And he is drilled at the 21-yard line. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. but he can't shake the defense. Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. Gets it out quickly, and he's taken down at about the 49. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. From their own 49-yard line, first down. And he just gets rid of it. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. And he's tackled around the 12-yard line. That's good for That makes it second and two. Taken down at the nine. This is the eighth play of this drive. Here's a counter play. About four yards and a counter to the halfback. Call it a gain of four yards. That brings up second and goal. From the five-yard line, second down. Nice run up the middle. That makes it third and goal. This is the tenth play of this drive. Touchdown, Rebels! Score by the halfback and a 
nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. And he tacks on the extra point. So a 10 play, 74 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. So our score. 24-0. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Fires that quickly incomplete. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Gets it. He's in space. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 34. Fires to his receiver, first down. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. To the 10. Touchdown. Huge play. And for Green, he's got 100 yards now. You know, if you were to ask this defense, who wants to cover this guy? I bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them. Now we've still got time left here in the second quarter, so this kid could really end up with a big game. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. He's got it for two. North Carolina, the kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Fires quickly, and he's got his man, and they make the stop at the 31-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. Strike to his receiver, no good. And a great job that time on defense. Good job here, but let me tell you something. That wide out was left out to try that time. Going deep. And that's his receiver who's wide open. Tackle made at the 24. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. And down he goes at the 16-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Here's the halfback. They'll bring him down around the 15-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Tackle around the 14-yard line. Well, that's the second time that this defense has given up a first down on third down. You work so hard as a defense. 
to get an offense to third down. When you get them there, you've got to be able to have somebody step up and make a big play, whether it's a defensive tackle slipping through a block, a linebacker shooting a gap, a defender in the secondary that's able to make a play on a football. Somebody's got to make a play, and that's what winning, the difference between winning a football game and losing is how you play on third down. They try to get a head start there. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 12-yard line. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Wait, Brad, this guy drops an interception. What's ironic about that, going to the news the other day, is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. It's up, and they tack on three points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Stewart fields it at the one. Stewart returns the kick. Pick up and turn in 19 yards. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Gets rid of it quickly. And he brings it down. Across midfield. Down the sideline. Knocked out of bounds around the 33-yard line. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Stop behind the line. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Strike complete. He's down. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And it's good. We've played a half of football here. Ole Miss has got a 16-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Sometimes it's great to think outside the box, and I applaud both of these defensive coordinators for thinking differently. I, I, clearly their plan, David, was to let the opposing offense run up and down the field until they got really tired. Yeah, Reese, that's your favorite term. That's hot garbage. They they got to do something different. That, it was discouraging to watch. You, know, you always talk about the body is willing or the mind is willing. Is the body capable? How does that saying go? Uh, the mind is the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. The spirit. Okay, you hear that saying? The spirit is willing and the flesh is weak. I think everything about their flesh was weak. That was pathetic. No, thank you. If you're gonna do that again, don't even show up in your pads. Just about ready to start the second half. We're gonna watch all the games around the country, including. Some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the cafeteria. You want some turf? Some ash turf in there? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. Yeah. 
And we Still welcome you back to the action time. here. Just about set for the second half. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Looking for his man, incomplete. Well, he must hurry there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Slings it, and he tackles him hard at the 24-yard line. That's a great tackle. The 17 yard line. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Banks awaiting the return. He's taken down at the 44. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Gets to about the 41-yard line. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 41. And a quick throw. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. Number seven. Give to the tailback. Makes it out to about the 26. From the 26-yard line, it's first down. He makes his way out to about the 12. Complete touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. You know, if a quarterback has a strong arm, one of his favorite routes is the post. But I thought the quarterback did a really good job here of using his eyes to move the safety, to open up that void in the defense, and then he made the good throw to the receiver for the After touchdown. Really good play, the ruling really on the field stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. And he converts the extra point. A five-play, 45-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Fires it out. And he's taken down at the 35-yard line. Snags a 
incomplete. Out of bounds, though, and they're going to lose yardage from their own 33-yard line. Second down. They go with a run. He tackles him for a loss. And it's almost picked off. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing line. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. The halfback with a carry. And he hits him hard at the 41. That brings up second and nine. It's second and nine. Ball on their own 41. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's at the 40, and he's finally shoved out at the 34-yard line. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34. They'll give it off here. They go to the left for a nice game. That's a gain of four on the way. That brings them second and five. He makes his way to about the 22. From the 22-yard line, first down. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. And he's tackled the seven-yard line. That makes it first and goal. He's taken down around the 10-yard line. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. From the 10-yard line, it's second down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Right down around the 3-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. And they make the stop around the one-yard line. This should be an easy field goal. Somebody jumped early down there. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost him five yards. Still, Still fourth down. down. Kicks up, and it's good. <laughs> Ole Miss gets set to kick this one away. And he got all. This one, great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. North Carolina's having a hard time doing anything on offense right now. Well, they've had some opportunities, but they either turn the ball over or obviously don't execute on third down and they're forced to punt. 
uh, or their drive uh, ends up uh, stalling on a fourth down. But they're moving the ball at times. I think they've just got to take some chances at this point late in the game like this. Throw the ball downfield and hope that your receivers can make some plays. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And they may need to hurry here. Well, you'd think so, but there doesn't seem to be much urgency on the field right now. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. Third down. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Third and five now, following the defensive penalty. On the throw, incomplete pass. That'll bring up fourth and five. Banks is back awaiting the punt. Banks takes it at the 33. He makes it out to midfield. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kurt. Oh, he's obviously come in here with a plan. He knows what he wants to do, and he's just getting the job done. lead them out for another drive here looking to add to his numbers and to their lead well, the defense held him to three on their last possession pitching a shutout on this drive would be even better Ole Miss looking to build on this commanding lead here got it completely he's out of bounds that makes it first and ten From the 35 yard line. First down. Almost intercepted. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. That makes it second and ten. A little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. Ball start. Penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. The penalty makes it second and 15. Wow, superb diving grab. Now, that was no routine catch right there, Brad. You've got to have some serious skills to be able to come up with that ball. Intercepted. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. This will just add insult to injury. It has the distance. And he got it. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. The score now. Ole Miss 40, North Carolina 11. They line up to kick this one away. He'll return it from the six. Tackle at the 35. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. Makes it second and 14. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 31.
catches it, and that's all. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. Quick throw. Got it. For the 20. For the 10. Touchdown. Huge play. Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, in a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. Well, that had to be a miscue of some kind or a mental error by the defense. This wide receiver was just too open for there not to be some kind of mistake by the defense. I'm sure the defensive coordinator is going to want to get his defense on the sideline and to make sure everybody's on the same page. And he tacks on the extra point. like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 24. Ole Miss is just rolling along and showing no signs right now, slowing down here in the third quarter. I think the big thing you're seeing right now is just the way they're playing with confidence, especially the quarterback. I think they are very, very confident with every play call that it has a chance to be able to move the football down and continue to be able to put points up on the board. And off up the middle, and he's stuck. From their own 22-yard line, second down. it up the middle for a nice run. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and six. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. They'll bring him down right around the 34. That's a gain of six on the play. First down. We've got a first and ten. Ball in the 34. Nice run, and he's brought down. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. has the INT. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Gets it out quickly. And down he goes, right around the 44-yard line. That's three down and one to go. The Rebels are up by 22. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Tackle made around the 44-yard line. That makes it second and ten. From their own 44-yard line. Second down. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. It's the ninth play of the drive. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle around the 47-yard line. He fields the punt at the 16. Tackle made at the 23. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. And he's 
comes level at the 30 yard line. Slings it. He's tackled at the 37. Wrapped up for the sack. That's a loss of eight yards. That'll make it second and nine. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. Quick throw, and he's taken down at about the 45. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. He wants it all going long. And he's got it. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. This defense is looking to make it three straight trips to the red zone without a single point. Here's the halfback. He goes out of bounds at the five-yard line. Receiver screenplay, and he's tackled right around the two yard line. That makes his third and goal. Touchdown, UNC. Short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. And they won't get the two. A nine-play, 78-yard drive. And they get six points on the board after failing the two-point conversion. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. But this time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. And he's tackled the 25-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. They'll work the left. Nice run there. That's good for a game. That brings them second and five. From their own 30-yard line, second down. He fights forward to about the 30. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. He's going to air it long. And he's got the freshman at the 30. He's taken down at the 24-yard line. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. They'll work the right side. Makes it out to about the 16. 
gaining eight yards. That brings up second and nine. And off. Brought down quickly. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Here's a draw. Tackle for a loss. That is just a great play getting into the backfield. This guy is so quick that the ball carrier never had a chance. Lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start. Offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see Still movement on the down. other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. It's up. Looks long enough. And he splits the uprights. Lining up to kick this one off. Taylor from the three. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. As you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. He's going to go for the home run. Finds the freshman. And they make the stop around the 32-yard line. Six-yard line. That'll make it third and 13. Pass incomplete. Trying to get it to his receiver. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. down around the 37 yard line and they'll fail on fourth down a scoring drive the last time out for this offense and they'll huddle up for this drive Seven yard line. It's second down. He fires. The freshman makes the catch. And he is drilled to 37 yard line. That makes it first and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 37. Just under three to go in regulation. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Nice game. 
15. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. Full start, start offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. Third down. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Quick pass. And he tackles him hard at the 27. That's a game that made on the play. First, down. First and 10. Ball on the 27. The halfback with a carry. He makes it to the 25-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. This is the eighth play of this drive. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, Ole Miss 43, North Carolina 24. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Sir Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.